Sorry, but I just came to church. You think that Steve matters? She's had a terrible life. All of us could never have a eternal life. But when they sow the seed together yes. at the same time, the seed does not recognize their life. Amen. The seed recognizes the soil. Yes. And the seed is going to work according to the kind of soil and how it's nourished. After so, yes. bring your seed in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put you on there. I'm going to give you a break. I love you, honey.
is a seed, a harvest that you and I are supposed to walk in that came from the seed of God's word. The word says this, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. And then it says, if you want to make sure it happens, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. When you receive that word in your heart, see, I'll be honest with you, for the most of us in here, we haven't received it. We, 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 we think it, but we have not received it. If the book says, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Then why do you allow other people to tell you that the water has to be saved? Why do you think you gotta change your behavior and change your clothes and change your lifestyle? Why do you think you gotta do all that to be saved when the book says? If you confess with your mouth, someone called Jesus is Lord. Jesus someone Lord. that said Jesus is Lord. Jesus you say it. If you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, the problem is though, when that water is released, what kind of soil you have? What kind of soil is the word of God been released into? What kind of heart that you have? Do you have an unbelieving and hateful heart? Or do you have a believing heart? Because the greatest soil there is, is a heart that believes. Yeah. Amen. Oh. I'm in the wrong church this morning, but I'm still going to preach you. That's good, Apostle. Let me say it again. When God releases a promise, it's all in this word. It comes from prophecy. It's all in the word. It's up to you and I to decide whether we will receive it in our hearts. And some of us, our hearts are so blocked up that we can't receive the word. We receive it on stony ground, what Jesus said. We shout about it in church, but because we have the root in us, when we go through it in persecution, we put the word down. You say it when you're in church, but when your behavior kicks up, you begin to question yourself about whether you say it or not. So what kind of heart are you receiving God's promise? Is it? Not what kind of lifestyle. Not what kind of behavior. What kind of heart do you have? Sure no. Sure no. Sure no. Rosandios. Sure no. What kind of heart? How is your heart towards God this morning? That's why the book said the Lord draws nigh to get out of a broken heart. And a contrite spirit. Because when the ground is broken, right. that seed can go in. Yeah. Y'all are ready for this morning. But most people are so powerful and so full of themselves that they can't even receive God's word because the word comes and they're ready to decide what they're not going to do and what they don't believe. And that can't be God. And you're blocking the word from a Tuesday harvest. That's why folk up in church didn't change. Let me tell you something. Some of the folk you know ain't never get saved. Yeah. Their hearts are too hard. They have too many experiences. They hate you, they hate God, they hate everybody around them. Wow. And more importantly, you, they hate themselves. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you have to come to the realization when you understand this person is not going to receive Jesus. And if they do, it's going to be my Holy Ghost, not me. Right. Because he said that when the word is released, the word of the kingdom, Jesus said, it falls on shallow ground. Some falls on ground where the sun, the devil comes and just takes it away right away because they're not going to receive the promise. If people live in the church right now, we're not receive the promise. And there are so many of you, I thank God for you, but you keep me going, where I see you receiving the promise and walking in the harvest. I'll just give this testimony here while I'm talking about this because I'm going to be done here in a minute. You know, God called me a couple of weeks ago, wanted to quit. I had it, I can't do it no more. Everybody tripping. And I stood at the phone for for almost half an hour. And the very day, she got a job. When we got the phone, she wanted to give up because she couldn't find her job. We were going to like her, just sitting there working. And I'm encouraging her, just keep holding on. Just trust God, God's up. I didn't even know she was working until I saw the uniform. Friday. She got a job restored to her, I guess, that was taken away. And then with that uniform, she made a lot of money to us in there. I didn't know where she was. But I remember when she was about to give up. 
But I released to her word. Amen. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I released her the phone word. I started the phone to encourage her. And I said, you feel better? She said, I feel a little better. But the word got in her. Yes. And she told me Friday, the seed got in her heart. Yes. Because she didn't call me in her heart. Now, I didn't get what he said. I'm doing what I got to do like some of y'all. Some of y'all She didn't call me in her heart like that. So when she received the word, it gave her hope. Amen. I hope they get not ashamed. And now she got another job with somebody that's not behind. If you're not going to go to the top, you're not going to go to the top. 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 Glory to God. So, here's what I'm going to talk to you about. Prepare your heart. Keep your heart full of love. 